Hey what is going on today guys and today in this video I am going to show you guys how to complete the Spec Ops mission Operation Crosswind. Now this mission is pretty easy all you have to do is in the very beginning once they get done talking and you can actually move around and do stuff what you want to do is you want three of your buddies to go out and out of bounds and kill yourself but you want one of your friends to have a riot shield. The riot shield is a must have once you have your classes and everything set all up, make sure one of your friends have a riot shield and you want to go out of bounds and you want to kill yourself. Now after you kill yourself, what you're going to do is you're going to come in over top of the objective and you want to land on the big building that has the big gap in the middle of it. And once you land here, you're going to want to take out the enemies that are around the communication device or disrupt the whatever the it says. And after you take out all the uh, enemies on the roof, you want to jump down on the second level of the building. And after you do that, with the friend with the riot shield, he's going to go start the communication device. And while you and your other friend are laying on the second layer of the roof and after you've complete the first step, what you want to do is you want your friend with the riot shield to go start the next disruption and once he starts the next disruption he's going to want to go set in the corner so the juggernauts or anything can't kill him and what you want to do is you want to clear the ads that come up that follow him clear the ads and you want one of your friends to run on the floor above him to the seats that are on the right side and once he says it's all, all good and clear you're going to want to go follow him you and your other friend go follow him but be aware there are enemies that can get up there so once you walk in the door you need to look around make sure there's no enemies as you can see here there are some enemies that he did not clear and after that you want to get behind these seats and lay down and shoot the juggernauts if there is any that comes in the juggernauts will not shoot you as long as they're running so your friend with the riot shield must have stopping power on and you have to shoot the juggernauts in the head because it will avoid all the juggernauts armor. And after the next phase is complete you want to clear out some of the ads that is underneath it so your friend with the riot shield can move around freely. Clear out some of the ads and once he says it's okay to go you want to follow him. Okay, now that he says it's okay, it's clear to go. Now he's going to want to block one of the juggernauts that is near the exit. And what you want to do is you and your other friends run out to the side, outside to the airport. You want to get into the truck that is sitting here. Everybody can get in the truck. All you got to do is jump on top of it and crouch down. Or just get in the back as you can see here now after that you want to start heading your way to the plane you want to make sure one person is looking forward and the other two are looking back at the trucks that are chasing you from behind and the ones that come out in front of you and you want them to take all of them guys out Now once you get here you just want to run the truck up into the back of the plane and just wait until the next cutscene is over. Now that you are at the next cutscene, if you have any ammo boxes or armor or anything like that you want to hurry up and use them immediately. And after that, your friend with the riot shield goes up, distracts the enemies, and lets you guys shoot them. Two people needs to go left, and two people needs to go right to clear out the aisles all the way up through to the end of the plane. 
it is really difficult to aim in this plane because it starts shaking all over the place. So it's just it's just better just to hit fire and kill your enemies because when you aim, your screen just shakes all over the place. So it's just best to just hit fire everybody. And you guys want to do this as fast as possible because you do have a timer. And if you do not get to the nuclear core in that exact time, you have to restart over. And once you get to this door, you want to put the charge on it and your friend with the riot shield walks up to the door after the charge blows up and distracts the juggernaut. He wants He's going to stand in front of the juggernaut. And once he gets the juggernaut's attention, you and your other friends are going to run around him and go down the stairs and clear out all the enemies that are in the cargo hold. And once you are downstairs clearing out the enemies, your friend with the ride shield is going to run up behind you and help you clear out the dudes in the cargo hold. Just so you guys know, the juggernaut will chase you. So you have to do this quick. Once you grab the nuclear device, you want to go to the next cargo hold. And your friends are going to have to clear these guys out really quick. And if you're holding the nuclear device, you just want to run past all of them and put the charge on the on the door out of the plane. And once you do that, you want your friend with the riot shield to run up to the juggernaut and just distract them if in case anybody goes down and your other friend can pick them up. Now once you jump out of the plane, you want to go to the warehouse that's on the left. Once you get to the warehouse, you want to wait for the helicopter to come. And you want to shoot the helicopter with whatever it is you got. You can have RPGs or whatever it is just to shoot the helicopter with. As I am about to show you guys here in a minute. When the helicopter starts coming, you want to start automatically shooting it. But once it starts flying flying around like crazy, if you're using Estrella, it'll start flying around all crazy. And if you lock onto it and shoot it, your Estrella will miss because it'll evade it somehow. And after you take out the helicopter, you want to run it. You have a few seconds to run around and look for perks that are laying all over the floor, inside the buildings and everything. Now, unfortunately, one of my friends had a bug where he didn't have any weapons. So what his job is to do is to carry the nuclear device, which kind of sucked because he couldn't shoot or anything. And once you search everywhere, that is if you want to search it, this next part isn't too difficult. Once you get into the into about the middle of the plane graveyard, enemies will start spawning. And if you have a missile strike or a precision airstrike, you're going to want to use it to clear out the left side of this factory. As you can see, there's so many, so many enemies right here. I use a precision airstrike just to clear out that little alleyway of enemies. And once you do that, it's just pretty smooth sailing from there. But if you take too long, there are juggernauts that come. So you want to try to get out as fast as possible. Try not to cluster strike yourself if you use a cluster strike like my, like my friend did and blew himself up. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment. And if you guys found this video helpful in any way, please make sure to hit that like button. And maybe you guys could subscribe for more random helpful videos that I do. But until then, I will talk to you guys later.
Extraction! It's time to go! Okay. We'll 